Hello everybody, I think I'm about ready to get started. Hope you're all doing well today. Switch to the Let's Chat. So. Oh. <laughs> we're we're gonna call that an OBS issue. You feeling okay, OBS? Why didn't the scene load? One second, chat. Uh, where are my uh, chat boxes? You feeling okay today, OBS? What happened, chat? Hold on. Do I need to restart the stream already? Look at that. Where's my scene? What the heck is this? Try this real quick. Whoa, was that? I know, chat. What a... <laughs> I see uh-oh in the Twitch chat. Hopefully now it's behaving. Chat, just type something. I'm just curious. I'll probably have to refresh it. I imagine it's because OBS had an update recently, and now it's having a fit because I didn't update it. There we go. That's better. <laughs> so great start. Been a terrible month, chat. Hopefully tomorrow will be the PSO event, but we'll see where it goes there. But let's give a shout out to Endless Gold, BC, and Minus X. I heard the alerts, but I don't see the alerts. Oh no, is like everything broken? What happened? Oh chat, this is weird. I haven't seen this happen before. Weird. It's like it didn't connect properly. Weird. Well, sorry, I tried to give a shout out, but it's clearly not working as intended. So let's just check this scene real quick. Yeah, I mean, like, it it did load when I checked it beforehand, but then it just died, I guess, when I walked away at some point. Interesting. Yeah, now that looks like it's back, but I'm going to switch it to the other side. Sorry about that, chat. Good enough there. Now be shown the lurking? Sure, sure. So, I mean, let's let's continue with Dicey Dungeons. I was gonna say, this week has been very interesting so far. Oh, why is it showing that? I mean, you could see the community content in the middle if you really want to see it. I swear, chat, today has just been a weird series of issues. Is it because this is visible? What even is the scene? The Dicey Dungeons one is doing this, really? Weird. It's fine. I don't really care if you see what games are in my Steam library. It's like everything broke in OBS today. What happened? How is this matching the title? This is not Dicey Dungeons. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Dicey Dungeons. You figured it out like, <laughs> like 20 seconds later. Whatever, chat, honestly. Oh, it's doing the thing where it shows the, the corner again. Man, chat, OVS is fighting me today. I do apologize. Why are you showing that? Oh, interesting. If I don't do that, that happens. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I know. You tell it not to do pop-ups, and it does pop-ups anyway. It's gonna be one of those days, sadly. So where did we leave off? That is kind of the downside. I think we were on robot. I think I tried one robot on hard mode. Because, like, normally visually you could see what episodes you've done, but it doesn't show me which ones I've done on hard mode, I've noticed. Like, it doesn't color the dice differently or, like, put a different pattern or anything like that. I'm assuming we were on robot because robot is not my favorite. <laughs> it sounds like me to have not done robot. And check challenges to see maybe yeah i'm pretty sure i think i remember saying we'll do one of something and i don't think it was the oh uh well i mean actually plasma blaster is okay you know what chat it's it's not uh it, it's not the other gun that i dislike heavily i could live with this i think
Mm, that's fine. That's about as good as I can hope for, honestly. Yeah, see that? The alerts aren't even coming up. Something is very wrong with OBS today, Chad. I'll try to get it fixed for later. Thank you for 25 months of support. I think today it just, it just gave up, Chad. Like, that's all I have to say. <laughs> OBS decided not to load anything, and I have to, like, manually clear these. What actual madness. Anyway, let's calculate. Oh, you're already done. That makes it easy. But anyway, hope everybody's doing well. PSO event will probably start on Sunday, so I don't think we will play Sunday PSO either. At least the f at least Iron Armor has some synergy with Lucky Star. Normally I would never consider that. I think right now I just want damage. Uh, I want to do 5 damage and do this, so GG next turn. Feeling Blarg, that's unfortunate. I would like to point out I almost died to Raygun again. That robot is something else. All equipment you find is upgraded. Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, why can't I get this in my normal runs? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait a minute, huh? Why would, oh, that's like the best rule of all time. Why can't I get that normally? Holy. I didn't even know there were positive rules or rules in this game. This is the Reaper's power. Okay, I'm gonna calculate once and see what I get. I'm gonna auto roll. No fives in there at all. That's brutal. Can I please get something better? My disappointment is immense. At least I could kind of play through this. I mean, look at that. Like, come on. What the heck is that? Alright, at least if he rolls doubles, I shouldn't die here. Yeah, if he rolled doubles right now, this would have been amazing while I had armor up. Oh well. Yeah, those dice rolls were terrible. Speaking of terrible... <laughs> Come on. Right, I'm gonna just do damage here. I did actually roll a one. Uh, let's look. Yeah, let's look, Sean. I thought about armor. Oh, I got max punished. I got max punished for not picking armor. Damn, that sucks. That's what I was wondering about. If he would roll a double, that would be more than four. Because if he rolled a double that was a three, I wouldn't really care. Because he would only be able to activate one. So that, that was kind of unlucky. I'm not going to lie. Well, I got half my health. I just need to survive one more battle, and then we're in a good position. Memory Lake do two times, plus one damage, slot shrink on each roll. Slots shrink? I don't know what... what does that mean? What? Is upgrade ability any any doubles complete countdown? Um oh that is it? I thought it just doubled. I don't think I've used memory leak before. I'm gonna fight the dryon. Oh each oh each roll the max number I can use goes down. Oh why why wouldn't they use the word why the word slot, though? Because I'm like, there's no slots, so I'm like, I don't... That's fine. Uh, so we're gonna do this. Oh, 
I'm hoping to not have to use auto roll there. We'll do it next time. So if I roll like basically, I need I could do about 20 damage with good rolls. Oh, the thing you can apply to it is lower. Oh, I understand now. Um, I think I need to evade. Now that makes more sense. Yeah, I was going to say, I, di I didn't understand how that worked until now, but that's fine. I don't think this really changes what I was going to do either way. The next turn, they're dead no matter what. Do I actually just iron armor this to survive? I don't think that matters. Let's let's go for guaranteed damage here. All right, so the, the, the thing is dead no matter what they do here. So even if they attack me here, it doesn't matter. I dodge. Yeah, even if they four poison me, I wouldn't die. Wow, what a terrible roll. Thanks, game. That that felt a little spiteful, chat. I would just like to say that six not on the first one. Just that felt kind of spiteful. What a jerk. Okay, at least I have good damage. Three damage, six on jackpot. Reusable. Ooh, I don't think I've ever used Spud Cannon. But honest, mm. so in theory, if I jackpot, it's always going to be better than stack overflow. But my roll luck is really garbage, <laughs> right, chat? Like my my damage output is terrible. I I'm thinking the stack overflow plus. I I don't trust myself to win with spud cannon. To be honest with you, I feel like I'm more likely to bust than jackpot. It feels like one of those runs. Double dice value, then add one. Interesting. So... How does this work with the five? Does it give me a six and a five, or does it give me two sixes? I mean, I need to know. I need to know because I, I've never used this one either. So it, it feels like in theory this would pair well with Memory Leak and or pairing at a lucky star. Yeah, my complete lack of luck, it's true. Well, that's not a bad roll actually, okay. It is a six and a five. Okay, see that's important to know. Right, Chad? Like that's like that's actually important to know. So we're gonna do some damage here. I actually rolled a one, no way. Um I'm going to barricade, because I don't think I need damage here. I just need to not take a million damage. Oh, okay. living at one is... I can live with that. The freeze was brutal there. Speaking of brutal. Thank you. Yeah, because that gives me a guaranteed six. So now I have two fives. I could just do 12 damage and win. Thanks, Stack Overflow. <laughs> right, chat? See, there, there's, there's the luck I was expecting earlier. Your CPU exceeds. If your CPU counter exceeds the target? No way. No way. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. That has to be one of the worst ones. Holy, please, anything else. One of my dice is frozen at the start of every turn. That one's actually really brutal. I'm not gonna lie, that one is actually super brutal. Um, I have the ability to duplicate. Oh man, that's a pretty bad one. Because I, I need to roll a good dice early with how Memory Leak works. So that just shuts me out hard now. That really sucks. I'm going to double this. Give me a 6 and a 3. Which is fine. 
just do as much damage as we can here. Wow, seriously? Are you really gonna make me chance losing this? Is this what's happening? If it gives me a one, I'm gonna put it in Lucky Star. And that's also fun. Um, they can hit me twice. Let me just reduce damage. Alright, so I could almost guarantee kill them next turn. I'm just looking to reduce how much massive damage I take. Because I think this is weirdly a really good option for me. Um... Well, I know this is a one. Need better. Oh, okay, the odds of this being a six are pretty high. It's only a two. That's what I was worried about. I'm gonna auto roll here. Oh, game had my back. There we go. I was like, wait a minute, I'm not playing around with this. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not playing this game. Get out of here. So I could copy something. Starting with the one is so brutal. I mean, I actually have like really good ones. The weirdly, I just need to upgrade iron armor. But I don't know if that'll happen. Add one shield, add shield each roll. Okay, so if I... Okay, so if I'm willing to play more defensively, if I wait by number of rolls... So if I if I roll like four dice, it'll add four shields. Or potentially five, depending on how you read that. Lucky star plus, do three damage, roll a five. So I think this is just straight up an upgrade. The question is, mechanical leg, two per unused dice. It's also not bad. I think getting the guaranteed fives. I mean, there's no reason for me to not take this. Because it's just, it's free damage. And if I really need another five, I can do that. Which is not the worst thing ever, honestly. I think I'm okay with this. I'd probably prefer one more defensive ability. But I'm not sure I'm in love with the other choice. And I could always duplicate something like Memory Leak if I really just need to do damage. Hmm. I think the problem more is, like... I guess Lucky Star being reusable gives me more damage. I don't have, like... If I start getting more dice, I don't have, like, a good payoff. Which is where, like, Mechanical Leg could have been interesting. Right, let's fight this. Uh, yeah, this is fun. Like, you can see here, like, I'm doing a lot of damage. I don't really care what he does here. Yeah, so he's dead next turn. I think Stack Overflow helps me a lot. Okay. I don't think this really changes anything. I just need to roll a 7. I should automatically do with this. Goodbye. Okay, at least our damage is really high. <laughs> right, chat? Extra CPU is okay. We, we don't have a build that really benefits from it currently. That initial freeze is so bad for us. That really does just gimp the, the thing pretty badly. There should be five, right? If I want to do it that way. Uh, we could do better. There should be a six, then add one. I could get another dice from this if I want to. I think it would make more sense just to... I think just use the three here. Ooh. Oh, come on. Are we seriously low rolling? Is this happening? All right, well, then I'm going to dupe it. That way I can get another one basically for free. So at this point, I don't really care what I roll. And that's fine.
Oh, that did a lot of damage. We're gonna pay six to pay five. Potentially just end him here. Doesn't really matter what I do at this point. I think he's already dead. That works. We took a lot of damage due to thorns, but we should be able to heal up. So I now get to choose whether or not I fight the enemies. So this run's actually going pretty well. Use all additional jackpot abilities. <laughs> do you really think I'm gonna jackpot? You're out of your mind, game. <laughs> right, chat? Like, come on. Have you seen my roll so far? Hell no, that's not happening. <laughs> I've gotten like, I've gotten one so far in this whole run. It's pretty terrible. Um, It is kind of funny how the dice just kind of loops back into Lucky Star. I kind of like that combo. I really wish we had upgraded Iron Armor. If we could upgrade Iron Armor or even Plasma Blaster, I think we would be fine. For the final area. I'm just worried we don't have enough defense. Um, I guess in theory, if I get something crazy, I could just make a copy of the duplicators. Because those are actually really nice. I just don't think I'll use it with our current loadout. Not see enemy health after the first turn. You know what? That's probably fine. So we have two immediate heals. I don't get to trade in whatever's up there until I fight everything, which kind of blows. So we're going to calculate, and then I'm going to calculate again. So this will make it a 5, so I should probably just use this now. 4 is okay. I think there's no reason to not auto-roll, so I think I'm going to auto-roll. Double next action. Um... So I could do another 10 damage. If I double the 6, I do 6 damage, and that would put him at 16, then I could do 5, and then reduce damage by 2. It's not terrible. I don't really want to roll, roll one more dice. That one's not worth it in our build. Lucky Shot doing 5 would mean that I could do... The same damage, I think, no matter what. It's just whether or not I need more dice is the question. Is I don't have a 6 currently. That's the problem. So if I get a 5, I could reduce damage by 4. Maybe that's better in the long run? Hmm... Because I, I basically just need health. Yeah, maybe it's better I take it slow here. I'm just thinking about it. Or I could set up for 12 damage on overflow. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's play defensively here while still getting some damage in. So this should double up. Then I could do this. Then I could do this. So he's dead no matter what. And now I just need to get to a 7. I think that's probably fine. Especially if he pea shooters me. That was the item I was trying to think of earlier. Look, he must combine the dice chant. So it, at least it is some damage reduction. Oh, the double one, seriously? There we go. Uh, I would just like to say... GG, but I'm gonna insult him with this first. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't take that much damage. I basically negated four, so I can heal seven. So I have one more heal after this, then I gotta beat the other one as is. It'll be interesting. <laughs> Where the seven sided dice is true. So, unfortunately, due to that, that does make memory leak kind of bad. Uh, let's double. Use a 6, make a 5, do that much damage, hold another 6, that's fine. Yeah, like if I could use Iron Armor multiple times, that also would have been really good. I think I'm just going to use a 3 here, 
And then maybe set up for stack overflow. Yeah. So basically half his health. He's at 27. Wow, okay. Okay there, okay. Okay, just real high roll. So I have to do 27. There's a six, so I could do a five. So I know he's now at 17. Now it doesn't matter what I calculate. I should just auto roll. It's 17. I could roll another dice. Is it possible to even kill him with how bad our rolls were? So I could definitely use a lucky star. I don't know if I can also use the stack overflow. Two ones doesn't help me. If we roll a six here, it'd be useful. Of course not. Or a five. Five would have been amazing. So we're definitely gonna do so he's at 17, now he's at 14. Two, four, five, six, seven. Oh, are you serious? So he's at 14, so I need to do. Wow, this really blows. <laughs> um, hold on, I need to I need to think about this. This is weird math. So I, I will put him at two if I burn this. Right? So this should kill if I'm mathing correctly. Yeah. I have to think about that for a second. Because I was like, Plasma Blaster for two would finish no matter what in that scenario. Do six damage, re-roll the dice. Um Honestly, maybe. Honestly, maybe. This would fix... Oh, do I get rid of stack overflow, though? So we have a guaranteed 6 damage. That might actually be worth it over stack overflow. Because I'm guaranteed to get a 1. So I'm always guaranteed to do 6 damage. So that might be better than just... Actually using stack overflow. Because I am I can use it twice, no matter what. Yeah, I think that is actually better than stack overflow in our build, weirdly. Yeah, that's actually not a bad workaround. Because it, it's just guaranteed damage now. So my one isn't just like straight useless. So I could do this and still potentially get a good memory leak. Or, you know, I just get the same number again. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> right, chat. Right, chat. Like, thanks. Alright, we could double this if we want to. Yeah, that's one of those moments where you just... Whoa, game. Don't do that. That's one of those moments where you just roll your eyes. Uh, let's just kill it because I'm going to heal no matter what. I actually got jackpot, really? That's so sad I can't even do anything with Fury. <laughs> that is so sad. I can't do anything with this. I mean, I... <laughs> I don't think it matters, but it is sad. I guess I'll barricade while let down at the end. Well, it's at 15, so I just... I'm going to be reducing it pretty low here. So that's fine. Nice. And then I could turn this into this if I want to. Then do this. Let's me do 12 damage here. Okay, that was a good chain reaction. Yeah, the slingshot making the other thing more powerful is kind of huge for us. Reset reusable counter. Ooh. We'd, uh, I mean, I'll take it for the future. Although CPU by half is also kind of good. Hmm. Both are interesting, because I have lucky stars. Is it possible for me to get infinites with this? Right? Let's say it's a... Wait, is that actually infinite? Wait, hold on. Brain trying to think. So we have lucky star, which means if I roll a six, I could convert it into a five, and it does damage. And then it reduces by half. So if I'm anywhere in like the 12 region, isn't that just instant death? 
Am I thinking about this improperly? Like, I would need... Yeah, right? Because, like, as long... Because even if I roll a 6, it reduces by 5. So as long as I don't literally cap every time... I think I'll try that over Iron Armor. I think this could lead to some shenanigans. Do something like this. I think that works the way that I want it to. Because we have a pretty big dice range, although I don't know what it, it's 13. So if I was at, like... If we level up CPU one more time, I think it's very, very strong. I could, in theory, also have infinited with the other one, but this I think both of them do very similar things. I don't know if there's a preference for one. Need an even dice to unshock shocked equipment. Um, That kind of sucks, but I'll take that over enemies getting rocks or whatever BS will also be there. Welcome, Kirk. So it's not something I want to use early. But it could be good. Wow, you seriously re-rolled a one. That's just a hateful moment, huh? Uh... I could give up on memory leak to half it, but I don't think that's worth it. I think initially I should do this. Oh, I should have doubled. Actually, that was a misplay. Uh, double the dice. Use a six. Half it. Yeah, see, now I can roll another six if I want to. Now it doesn't really matter what it rolls here. This doesn't matter. Oh, I actually capped. That's awkward. That's awkward. Yeah, this is why we need the CPU up another level. I think we just do damage here. There's no downside to this. So I'm gonna do this. That was a lot of damage on the crystal. Yeah, once we get CPU leveled up, I think the other one will be a lot stronger because I have more wiggle room with it. They might not even get a turn, to be honest with you, chat. I think it might just be over here. I rolled decently well. Which I almost did. Um, never mind. Seeing if we could get a little better there, but whatever. I mean, it kind of works. It, it means I'm actually using some things, which is nice. Free spin, no change mercy. jackpot abilities, no thank you. Roll up two dice that add up to six. Heal, sword hilt, or do a lot of damage. But it needs a four. I don't have a way to get a four currently. Like, that is kind of crazy, but... Roll two dice that add up to six. Um... This would make more sense than the reusable one. But I don't have anything that really pairs with that very well. Yeah, the slingshot is really good. I wish this was reusable by like one or two times, but that's fine. All right, so I have access to a lot of healing and I can dupe something. So I can also dupe... Actually, there's nothing I really want to dupe at this point. We kind of just need better equipment. Um, I should fight the gargoyle and depending on how it goes, I just go straight to the end, I think. So doing the 6 damage there is huge. Uh, the problem is I'm leaving a lot of damage on the table. I think I gotta roll again. Yeah, that's fun. Alright, so we could roll a 6, get a 5. I guess the CPU fan is not reusable, which makes it a little less abusable. So the other one might have been a better choice for me, in hindsight. That's fun. Even if I burn here, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, I should have gotten the other one. My bad, Chan. If we're in the same scenario again, at least I know. Uh, upgrade the dice for sure. Do as much damage as we can. Get rid of this. Do five. It's getting close. Another six. It's actually pretty huge. Now we reduce it by six. 
Oh, this is probably gonna bust. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We got punished. The lock there countered us kind of hard. This is so much damage that I'm taking. Ugh. That's what I was worried about. Um, It's near death. Yeah, there we go. Oh well. Small misplay. Hopefully it doesn't cost the run or anything too crazy. Um... Depends on how bad I think Wisp is. That's the real question. I could dupe the cooling fan if I want to. But again, like, I should have taken one of the ones that scaled based off of dice rolls. So yeah, I think Cooling Fan doesn't have as much synergy as I was thinking. For some reason, I thought it was reusable. I don't know why. When I initially picked it up. I got excited and thought they were equal. The other one would have been better. Because, like, then every time I roll a 5, I could put the 5 and reduce by 5. And that would have led to an infinite. So I'll keep that in mind next time. If I have a similar setup with Lucky Star. I think I just try to level here. I thought about going to the end, but I don't think it's worth doing. Yeah, the fact that this is a guaranteed 6 is nice. And that's actually huge. That's actually super huge. I could do this. Yeah, that is a lot of damage I'm about to do. Uh, let's just do our damage right now. Game, please. Uh, I should reduce CPU. And then let's auto roll. Okay, so I could put it pretty low. I could get some healing, which I probably want. Another dice I don't think will help me, because I don't think I could kill no matter what here. Yeah, let's let's regenerate three. So it's in kill range no matter what next turn. I just have to do seven. So as long as it doesn't do like six trillion damage to me, which it kind of is. Un unlucky. <laughs> unlucky, right, chat? Unlucky. I mean, you're dead here no matter what, I think. So enjoy your last moments, fool. Alright, so we're not too far off in terms of health. I think I'm gonna pay for healing, yeah. I think that was a good call. Roll two dice that roll add up to sit. I mean, I have nothing better to do with money. We're at the end of the game. I might as well just purchase both. Just the question of do I want to use it on the other fight is the question. See, it's very likely for us to get a six. I don't think it's as likely to get a four. Three is not hard to get... We could very easily get, like, if I really wanted to upgrade dice into a sword hill, I could, in theory. I don't know if that would be worth it, <laughs> but it's technically there. Yeah, cooling fan is okay. Honestly, it's more the plasma blaster that doesn't do any damage at this point. I wonder if I should replace it. Uh... Could just do iron armor for protection. Because honestly, at this point, I have a lot of damage. Like, this is a guaranteed six. I'm going to be doing at least three with this, so this is nine. I could do about 19. And then if I don't have a plasma blaster, I could do like 22. It is a lot of damage. I just need to survive this. Like, plasma blaster helps, but it's definitely much worse than slingshot at this point. Just a question of, I don't really have a great alternative here, is the problem. Like, I do have Stack Overflow, which Pla Plasma Blaster would do 5-5. Five, five. So I guess if I can level this up in two turns, I guess this would do more damage than Plasma Blaster would. I guess that's technically the correct thing to do. 
Because think of it this way. If I roll two fives, it does 10. If I can reduce it by 12 in two turns, it does 12. So technically it's better and it's bus protection. I think that will work the way that I want it to. Uh... I was going to say, I'm trying to think what number that would give me, and I'm like, I think that's good. So now it's basically dead. I just have to get there. Ooh, that was a little greedy, but I, I, I like the outcome. So the enemy is basically dead. Could set up for an easier lucky star. But I think now it's in kill range. Yeah, now it's definitely in kill range. The odds of me doing 26 are pretty high. And it rolled terrible. Although it did curse me, which is annoying. Of course. Uh... Do a little bit of damage here. Well, that was such a that was such a good use. Goodbye. Do I auto roll? I don't think I do. Ooh, you're gonna force an auto roll for me. I can't afford to bust this. That sucks. That sucks. I only needed to do like three damage, by the way. <laughs> the fact that it forced it there, that was kind of rude. Yeah, that was that was kind of unlucky, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, yeah, so the stack overflow kind of worked. I could get another slingshot if I want to. I don't know, I kind of like our build right now. We don't have any defense, but I guess we'll see what we get when we come into the other enemy fight. Yeah, another slingshot is also kind of like having stack overflow. Robot versus Beatrice. I don't remember what her abilities are. Uh, it's been too long, chat. What does she do? So the question is, how much damage do I think she could do to me? She does shock. Oh no, I can only roll evens to get out of shock. That's really bad. Ooh, the rule we have really punishes us for that. Um, I might be in trouble. Now the question is how many attacks does she have? Assuming she has a decent number. Um yeah, this really sucks. I, c I might just lose based off of not being able to unshock. Because I, I don't have anything that rolls evens other than this in theory. Four attacks and a dodge. Interesting. So if I have two slingshots... Is that better than my other thing? Because if she has a lot of attacks, iron armor might actually make sense. Because it might be reducing the damage by like 8 a turn. I just really wish we could have upgraded this. I guess that's the downside. If you have like a good defensive thing early, we never had a blacksmith the whole run. So we never got to see iron armor upgrade. Um... Memory leak normally does about 10 a turn. It's just a question of, like, uh, uh, I need to get rid of something. I don't know if I could get away with cooling fan with Beatrice. The other one would have been really good with it. Maybe I just go double. Maybe I just iron armor. I think I just need to survive extra turns, right? So, like, if I do 6, I'll do 9. I'll on average do 10. I'll do on average another 6. This would be 26. I would have to last 4 turns against her. 
I think Iron Armor will carry me there, but I could just die due to shock. That's what I'm worried about. Like if she if we roll a one and she shocks slingshot, like the the rut is like basically dead, and she's got a good odds of doing that. The upgraded dice is also not terrible. Like, I wish I had one more slot. Do you know what I mean? I think I need to keep Stack Overflow. If it wasn't upgraded, I would have replaced it with Slingshot. This feels so terrible. This is gonna make or break the run. Like, do I get rid of my upgrade dice? To get another Slingshot just to get more damage? But then potentially lose damage on memory leak. That's the problem. Like this, this needs to pair with memory leak. So like, is it even worth trying to memory leak with our deck? Like if I were to remove this in theory, I were to do approximately 12, 24, 27. Plasma Bright. Put Half Moon Charm instead of the dice. The problem is everything costs... Maybe that's better? I roll a lot of fives, which could go towards Iron Armor or Stack Overflow in this. The question is just what gets locked down. This Cooling Fan is basically just improving Lucky Star. I don't know if I really want to do that. Maybe I actually just get rid of that and do memory leak here. Because I, I do like this ability, but the problem is just like, will I do enough damage if something gets locked? Like if she locks Lucky Star, what do I do? So let's say I roll a couple of ones, which is kind of likely to happen, and it re-rolls. 12... We'll, we'll try this. This is a very aggressive build with a little bit of defense. You again. You might trick me once, but I won't let you trick me, dice. Alright, so that's a good start. Oh, that is a fantastic start. I think chat can agree. That was like the best possible roll I could have received. That was insane how much that just did. Holy. And we got shields? Okay. That was such a good roll. Whoa. She's getting deleted. 30 damage? Okay. That's all I gotta do, chat. We reduced by two. That's important. We reduced by two. But she shock. Aha! I countered this by having more than one slingshot. But the problem is, do I give up the damage here or not? Ooh. I think I gotta get greedy here. Uh... I need to do 30, huh? Uh, that's about what I thought it was. Okay. So, we're in a weird position. The double shock is very annoying. Um, I could give up the six to do more damage. I think I will. And I could do eight. So now she's, gonna, she's at 22. Use Lucky Star. She's now at 16. I'm gonna get rid of that. Just a little risky. 13. Let's reduce damage. Oh, well, there's no reason for me to not lucky star that. Well, I actually rolled it. Oh, she is almost dead thanks to Firebomb? Oh my gosh, it's happening. 
Chat, get the camera. It's happening. Good lucky star closer. I mean, we... We're reducing by two, so if I really need another turn, I think I bought myself a turn. And she didn't dodge? I think this is GG, as long as I play it properly. She got rid of all my ones, how annoying. GG. She should have dodged. Well done, another victory! Now tell me, how's everything in the outside world? How's work? What's the weather like? Are we going to hear the pitter-patter of tiny dice? Ooh. Okay, double Yay! slingshot was definitely the right call. No regrets on that one. Oh boy, we got Madison chant. Oh boy, what's this character's hard mode like? Ah. Hey everyone, on your feet and give a big cheer. It's dungeon time again for our favorite little fighters. Yeah, that was pretty good. Hard mode. Oh, I like whip. Oh. Yeah, I like whip. It's not even a bad start. It's free damage and it does something on a six. Replicate, copy, random dice. I don't think I really need to. Unless I want to... I guess I could burn it. I want to. There we go. We're living our dreams now. Shocking him there is just mean. <laughs> right, chat? That was mean. Just guaranteeing he can't shoot me. Goodbye. Okay, we're off to a decent start. Um... I probably just want damage here. Let's get the whip going. Staff deals more burn damage. I'm noticing a theme, chat. A little bit of a theme. Also, I don't even remember what my ability does. We should probably check to see what that does. Oh, all dice become sixes. Okay, that makes more sense. I mean, I'm just gonna burn you because you're weak to it. GG. Get outplayed. Well, another awful fight. I assume you're cheating. But I've enrolled in our new training program to prepare myself for promotion to a superior dungeon level. At least I won't have to put up with this nonsense for much longer. So we did go down whip, but I'm kind of okay with our current ability. I guess I could do spanner. Yeah, adventure's hard because sometimes you just end up deleting all of your dice. Ooh, speaking of which, we really needed a better attack spell there. Ooh, that's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, we, we need more items for sure. Both you and your enemies start each fight with re-equip next. Uh, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Find my dice. Duplicate the. Oh, I could have duped first. Oops, my bad. I, I saw the duplicated dice, but forgot to read that it was odd. Um. In that case, let's shock him out of his equipment. So no matter what, he can't really do that much to me this turn. Again, that's kind of mean to me. <laughs> right, chat? Like, what is he gonna do? Oh no, he's doing five a turn. Look out, chat. Yeah, I love Scrapbook. I might get rid of Mosquito Bite, honestly, to keep Scrapbook. Like, that one's actually kind of nice. Um, I think it really matters what I do here. So I could do six damage, or I could do. I 
guess that does 10. I guess this should work. I could focus. I don't really want to. That's fine. Yeah, let's get rid of Mosquito Bite, because I'm just never going to use that realistically. But that's just free health regen. Um, let's go this way. Uh, let's use... I don't have any odd dice, which is awkward. I was gonna say, let's dupe and then make them sixes, but... Let's just do this now, I guess. Heal some health. Burn its only dice. Shock a random equipment. Aw. Oh, I tried. It would have been funny if it hit the one he had. At least we drain every turn, which is kind of nice. Oh, he's almost dead. I'm gonna shop one of his equipment at random. If it's one, it would be very funny. Aw, oh, unfortunate. They gave me focus again. I prefer not to have to do that. Can I, can I seriously not kill him? Really? I'm gonna have to burn focus here? Have to. I can't afford for it to go on another turn. Do two damage. What a jerk. Stupid freeze. Would have killed him otherwise. Um. Don't really want to get rid of scrapbook, but we don't have any other damage abilities. Oh, way to give me a reward afterwards. Yeah, flamethrower is terrible. We're getting rid of- that, that's basically being fed to our thing as soon as possible. Healing crystal's okay, that's good junk fodder. Do damage on six reactivate gadget. That's pretty good. This is one of the runs where I don't think upgrading equipment makes a lot of sense, because sometimes we're forced to do it. Like, if we keep staff around, in theory, it could be good. I think for now I'm just gonna add another item. And then we'll maybe get the upgrade. Maybe. I don't really like our odds here very much. We could do this just to burn, and then we do the six. All of his dice are burned now, so he's gonna be reduced to basically, what is it, nine? Okay, so we did a million damage to us, but whatever. Hmm. Uh, I guess perish. Uh, I want to keep Flamethrower around for now. I think I could heal in Crystal a little more efficiently in the next battle. Leather Armor is a great thing to get rid of. I don't know if I care about Capacitor. So the problem is that we have to get rid of something, so we always have to have something bad in our build. I try to upgrade one of the- oh. A lot of damage. Uh, uh. Passer doing three is okay. I'm not really impressed by this damage. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chad. These are kind of a lame upgrades. I guess I'll improve capacitor. I don't really want to hold my money for anything in particular. Since the odds of me keeping something, if your enemy rolls a six and automatically catches fire, please no. Wow, no matter what, I'm getting burning. That sucks. Uh... Wow, I rolled super terrible. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, that was kind of garbage. Fireball! Guess I'll shock out his equipment. So that way he can only hit me once at most. Yeah, that was just kind of unfortunate. At least we have heal to get through this. 
So I could do 12 damage to him right now. Do I want to? Probably. I think that changes my decision at all. So no matter what, I should be able to kill next turn. I could do... No, I can only do 9. I do have to actually pay towards this. This sucks. Let's do this one. As I was thinking, he's probably going to freeze me. That's That was my thought process, just for clarity. Really? I rolled two ones? Come on. That's unlucky. You're really going to first... You're going to force the focus burn? That blows. What a jerk. What a jerk. Unlucky. I was hoping to keep that for later. Uh... Let's keep playing Flower Earth for now, because I don't have any offensive options. Get a temporary gadget once per battle. That's fine to keep. Staff, unfortunately, is really big, so it's hard to put Screwdriver in the build, even though Screwdriver is good. I think I just buy Dagger here. As interesting as Venus Flytrap is, I think I just buy that. Alright, so we have more... Things to kind of bait the game to give me something terrible. Yeah, we want to keep Encyclopedia and Screwdriver for later because it might reactivate these. So for now, we'll be a burn build and hopefully we can keep our other things for the end. Oh. I misunderstood. I thought it was when you use it, it inflicts burn, not that you start with burn. Oops, I forgot that's how that works. Uh, I'm probably dead here then, since I misunderstood a mechanic. So GG chat, I don't think I have enough health to do anything. His armor does literally nothing in this fight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Yeah, I don't, there's, there's nothing I could do. I'm already dead. Um. Yeah, we roll terrible, and there's nothing I could do. Big yikes! I could turn these into sixes. I guess. Try to kill him next turn. Maybe there's a miracle where he doesn't attack and kill me. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the downside with Inventor. Sometimes it's just like... You have to purposely put bad items in your inventory, or else you get rid of your good things. So sometimes if you just get unlucky and the bad thing is really bad, you just kind of lose. <laughs> Um... I'm gonna shock him so he does a little less. Alright, no shield at least. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. It's like, it's always feeling like you're behind. I think we have to get rid of Spanner this time. Yeah, like, Scrap Spear is perfect. That's a better Scrap item. Staff is fine. So if I want to keep Whip for longer, I could put Staff as my main weapon, for example. Inventor is the only one where it feels like you play suboptimally the whole game, and I don't like them for that reason. Do you know what I mean? Like, you never can play with your upgraded gear unless you, like, swap it out immediately. And even then, you have to play without your upgraded gear. It just- it feels bad. I just don't like the concept of this character, like, at all. They- they do not gel with me in- in the slightest. So, whether it's the robot RNG or this nonsense, 
Not a fan. Hopefully we'll... You really hit the only one that would stop me from... Okay. <laughs> so if we're lucky, it'll be Scrap Spear that gets chosen. But again, this is RNG. I might just lose here. Okay, thankfully... Thankfully, it wasn't just, like, all the other garbage, so we're good there. <laughs> Mosquito Bite. That's an okay one to have as a other ability. So, see, we're, like, struggling. We're down to three. Keep unused dice until your next turn. Lose one health for each dice you keep. I think that's probably okay. I can find ways to burn dice. So, the problem we're in is that I don't have enough equipment. I'm going to lose something. So, we're at three... So right now it's guaranteed we get Mosquito Bite, but when we want to get up to a full build, we're going to have a problem. Like, I can't put Whip in here on the off chance we get Whip Staffing Capacitor, is what I was talking about earlier. Like, I would love to do that. I don't think the inventor's items are terrible, but it's like at the same time, I need a little more love from the game. Unlucky. Sure, reroll random dice. I don't think it matters. Not really. I don't think this changes my plan. So yeah, just it always feels like I'm playing on like a super underdeveloped build at all times, which feels pretty terrible. I've almost killed myself just trying to fight Marshmallow here. Oh, man. Why can't he roll two? Oh, so brutal. Am I not going to be able to kill him? My brain is like exploding chat. How is this happening? I actually can't use staff. I have to use focus again. Unreal how bad the dice rolls are. Yeah. Well, I think the run is over, by the way, chat. I don't know how in any... Oh, I guess I could fight the thief. Okay, if we fight the thief, I have a chance of survival. <laughs> I like Keyblade, but I'm too scared to purchase it right now. I don't want to accidentally get rid of it. But I also only have... <sighs> Like, I, I want this ability, but I don't want to lose this randomly. This feels so bad. This capacitor is helpful. I guess I could risk it and hope it does leather armor. Because we need to kill Sticky Hands. Wow, seriously? I could drain him of health. Do three damage, return the dice. Burn him. I probably should have shocked, actually. Shock not shocking there was a mistake, but we know for next time. So he's rolling super high all the time. Drain his health. Use the six. Reduce this number for the future. Ah. That shuts him out completely. Potentially. Ah, so we're gonna drain him. We're gonna deal six. Burn him alive. Ah. Got rid of leather armor. Chainsaw, do damage. If enemy is full, do double. Chainsaw's not bad. I need another item potentially here. Bump. Bump is probably going to be sacrificed to the gods, if I'm being honest with you, chat. Whip. Staff can go, because I have whip. Chainsaw being selected would be bad. Capacitor being selected would be not great. Keyblade leaving wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I guess it just really depends on what I upgrade here. Chainsaw Plus would be really good to keep, to be honest with you. 
offers more flexibility. Bump plus, I, d I don't expect to get bumped, to be honest with you. So if it forces, the worst choice it could give me is Keyblade, Capacitor, Chainsaw. If it gives me Staff, I'll get rid of it. If it gives me Bump, I'll get rid of it. So hopefully we get lucky. Much tomorrow, where the run is over. We'll see. Well, Chainsaw basically immediately paid off. Yeah, look at that damage, chat. Look at that damage. Actually, legit almost died in one turn. Are you not entertained, chat? Look at that damage. Chainsaw is so good. We we will sacrifice everything to keep Chainsaw. Like, that's literally like a run winner, how good it is. It's the moment of truth. What are we getting rid of? Okay, this is the, one of the ones I didn't want to do. I wish I had the option to skip doing that. Could try to bait it here. So no matter what, yeah, this might this might work better. Keep the keyblade for later. Now we need to get scrap. So we need to just purchase as many junk items as we can later. Enemies always roll a six. Please no. On your first turn, all your dice rolls are the first number. No. That's also terrible. Unless it's sixes. This is a moment, however, you just roll your eyes. Thanks, game. Alright, at least now we're now we're partying the way we need to party. This is like a big eye roll moment. Okay, so you could do six and flick burn. Fight is already almost over. It's actually insane how much damage Chainsaw does. So chat, <laughs> so chat, we have like a run winner, but it's like I have to keep it, and then it will feel painful playing this on other turns. Um, just die. Chat, there is there is literally no way I'm getting rid of Chainsaw. We'll get rid of Staff, but we need junk items, like, immediately. We got our bump back. We actually have a pretty good build, to be honest with you. I might put Keyblade in for the sacrifice. So if I keep... If I Keyblade... Acidor... Maybe I hold Whip off for now, just to guarantee I keep Whip. Feels weird. I I have to go this way because this offers the most amount of enemies to fight. I could go this way and heal, but I don't think I should. Although I am injured for this fight. Do I risk it? I guess I risk it. Okay, I need to make sure that I do damage in this fight. I think I have to do this. It is a level three. Like it is actually important that I do damage here. Well, there's all the sixes at least. I don't know why I did that. That was dumb. I don't know why I did that. I did less damage. I mean... Yeah, I could have one-shot him. That's unfortunate. I mean, I don't think it matters. We win either way, but... It would have been nice to end that turn. Now I just need to do a little bit of damage and he's dead. Yeah, I forgot. Don't, don't ever start with a, a gadget for damage when you have Chainsaw. See, that blows. <sighs> but I think we gotta get rid of Keyblade. Alright, we need more items. Raygun, perfect thing for fodder. Uh, I can rebuy my Keyblade. Okay, so I wasn't really hard punished there. There is an upgrade here, due to- like, Polar Star is okay, I don't think I really want to get another upgrade. Honestly, Chainsaw will get us through almost to the boss. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's get rid of Whip, so that way we have some damage at the end of the game to influence it being Raygun. I think that should be fine.
Wow. I think this is one of those moments, chat, where you just roll your eyes. You just roll your eyes. Roll a dice. Focus. Take massive damage. Look at that damage, chat. Anyway, fight over. Chain's still so good. Alright, <laughs> it wanted to get rid of that. Do I get rid of Capacitor or Bump? <sighs> the problem with this is that we might need the Shock status. Ugh. I'll get rid of Bump. We don't have any... Okay, so now we guaranteed have to get rid of Ray Gun. We get something useful. Oh, I Scrap Shield's a good alternative. So now I have two things that it could be. Yeah, that's probably fine. Or I could do... No, this is probably fine. Enemy can throw and use dice at me. That's fine. That That's on the team floor challenge. I will take that over half of the BS that we deal with. Um... Now the question is, do I want... Do I actually want... I, You know what? I'm willing to risk the Keyblade. Because if we get rid of it, it's fine. I think Raygun is... Stronger, potentially. But all of those I'm willing to get rid of. We, we need more things to dodge the, uh, the Chainsaw nonsense. So sadly, I can't plus one for big damage here, but doing 16 off the bat is kind of nice. Return the dice. Shock him. Shock him again. Double shock's kind of brutal there. That guarantees he can't attack more than twice. Or he just rolls super high. That's cool. At least he didn't drain health. Uh, let's find out if these are evens. They are. GG. Oh, Chainsaw. Perfect, we got rid of Scrap Metal. Because Scrap Metal, see, like, the other one caused burn. This one is just free shield. Like, do you see how much better this Scrap Metal is? Like, that was perfect bait. Now we need another item, I think. All right, Spark. Spark is perfect bait. We're keeping it there. They, they do the same thing for me, chat. More bait. Uh, do I heal? Probably not. Yeah, the chainsaw hate is real. Sadly, we rolled all fives. Uh, the, the, the fact that I'm forced to roll all the same number, that actually feels super spiteful versus chainsaw. It might even be worth not doing anything this turn, just to do more damage next turn. Which is really weird to say, but like, honestly... It doesn't do damage very quickly. I think I just get... I think I just hold the dice for next turn. Take some damage. Yeah, Chad, this is where you nod your head. Look at that damage. This is so much potential damage. Let's burn a dice. Do this. Let's shock you out of existence. Get three equipment, right? Yeah, get wrecked. Idiot. Brutal. <laughs> oh, you actually unlocked it. Wow, okay. Okay, yeah, so we'll heal up. Killed with Keyblade. Yeah, that's kind of the weird thing with Chainsaw. Like, so if you really can't use it, sometimes it's best to get rid of it. Oh, we got rid of Spark. Perfect. Our bait item got used. So now we're gonna heal. Let's see if we get something good to bait Chainsaw. I, you know what? I don't really care about losing Counterfeit. That's fine. Capacitor is really, really good. I think we need to do it to survive. It's like our only defensive item. It's like, it's not like top tier, but in our build, like we need it. Okay, I could turn everything into sixes, so it doesn't really matter what we roll here. Oh, 
chainsaw just does so much damage to- I mean, we just look at this. Getting actually shut down. Yeah, I'll afford to do a little less damage. This is fine. Yeah, this is how I save my health, by doing stuff like this. Yeah, you could see, like, I literally reduced the number of attacks by one. So, in a way, I'm still doing damage, and then it's just GG. Brutal. The level up is huge. Uh, probably get rid of counter. <laughs> Chad, Chad, it wants that chainsaw. It's like, come on, you know, you want to give it up. <laughs> and they're like, no. Upgrade an equipment, get a scrap. Copy an equipment. Ooh, can I copy chainsaw? That would be very funny. Hmm. It's a little greedy, but I think I'm going to copy chainsaw. Chainsaw is so good, chat. So we're gonna leave it at, we're gonna leave one in here in case the worst scenario happens. I think I can afford to get rid of whip now. And, oh my equipment is shocked! Get out of here! No! That's terrible! I will die if that happens. Oh man, enemy getting extra dice is also pretty bad. Uh Ooh, I'm left in a weird place. I don't have spare equipment to sacrifice to this thing. Did I get punished for getting an upgrade over a scrap item? How would I have known I wouldn't have reached any item ups? Chat, this is actually really bad. Ugh, the odds of us keeping our item are pretty low here. Big yikes. I have to go this way first. God, I don't have twos here. Uh, I need a six! I need a six! I gotta end my turn! I have to. Really sucks. There's the six. Alright, now he's dead, chat. <laughs> like, look at this nonsense. If I want to do it. Yeah, do I even need a three? I don't. It's, it's focus time, chat. Look at this. This is the power of the inventor. Yeah, GG. You're not getting another turn. Don't lie to me. He's so lucky. We He's so lucky we can't be in our full power. That was the exact build I wanted for the boss, by the way, chat. Something that duped dice with our ability to hold dice is disgusting. Um, I guess I get rid of Keyblade. Probably the least impactful. Uh, I have nothing I can upgrade, which really sucks. Losing whip is not a bad thing. I think we're gonna hold off on using upgrade, which is such a weird statement. I think Cornelius doesn't attack, right, until he gets higher, so shock I think would be helpful here. Yeah, unfortunately he starts with one. I think I end my turn even though it injures me. I need to roll a six. I, tr I tried. Roll an extra dice. Oh, there's a six. So he's mostly dead. So if we shock him, it still slows him up. Like, we should be fine here. I just gotta burn stuff. Yeah, that's good enough. So no matter what, we're slowing him down a little bit. Thank you, Shock. So he's halfway through already. As long as I inflict Shock every turn, this should be good enough. I would have preferred Freeze. Freeze would have been huge here. So we slowed him down by two so far, in case that matters for the future. We really need to roll better dice. Seriously?
All right, we slowed him down by three, but we're in trouble if we don't kill him next turn, I think. Come on, game. There we go. It's getting closer. I definitely want to burn a dice of his. I definitely want to shock him. He okay, should be dead next turn. He's probably going to burn himself, which is good. Okay, reduced by two. So we reduced it by five. Which, it got kind of close there, to be honest with you, chat. He would have been at three otherwise. Uh, Probably get rid of Whip. Okay, so we need some better items for sure here. Electromagnet, perfect. We need another item. Puppy Paws, must roll five. Steal damage, recover health. I pretty much want both of these. I think I have to buy the healing here. The odds of me surviving that are pretty low. As nice as it would be to get Puppy Paws, I could buy that on the way out. Yeah, Electromagnet is whatever. We're, we have a chainsaw for the end. I wish I had a bump for the final boss, but this might be fun. So we don't have a really good... Hmm, we have a pretty bad setup for the boss, honestly. Like, if I were to go to the boss right now, which in theory I could, I don't really like it. So I'd rather get rid of some items and maybe get one more upgrade. Rolling all ones here is so obnoxious. I gotta end my turn. Oh my gosh, they rolled so high. If he curses my chainsaw, I'm I'm actually quitting the menu. I'm not even bothering with this fight. Okay, we're, we we get to play the game. <laughs> it's like, Chad, like my my finger is ready to absolutely leave. Absolutely, I was ready to quit out if that didn't work. Yeah, that's fine. But like, I'm not having it from you today. Yeah, that's a pretty good shock. Unfortunately, the enemies getting plus one dice counters our shock strategy, which is actually really annoying, as you can see. Like, otherwise, he wouldn't even be able to curse me here again. So annoying. All odd numbers, that blows. sucks. We still killed him, though. Yeah, whatever. I don't care what you have to say. This is gonna be really close. If I can even beat this. Um... Elastic card, I think, needs to go. And Electromagnet will be next. So we're gonna heal for sure. Do I have anything worth upgrading? So I can upgrade something... We need to we need to basically lose electromagnet for damage, and then I need to somehow get another item for usability. Roll two fives. That's not too bad actually. Yeah, we'll we'll worry about upgrading later. I definitely do not want to risk chainsaw plus. Actually, it doesn't matter. Honestly, rolling four even numbers is kind of annoying. Maybe I just risk it. I think we just need to do damage here. Let, let's 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 not risk that there. I can I can get rid of something later. Uh, this might be good enough just to do damage. Yeah, that's fine. Because if it wasn't just all evens, chat, I probably would have kept it. So he's gonna lock a dice, but I'll have focus. So it's good that we chainsawed him, because we did take a lot of damage there. 
And I can heal again. Which is good, because that's six health I wouldn't have had normally. Left with a weird amount of items to use. Let's go ahead and do this. The lock there kind of sucks, but not much I could do about that. I don't think this will really slow him down, but I just want to lock him out of something. Maybe he's dumb enough to spend. We've seen the AI do dumber. Alright, that did pretty low damage, so I should survive. Double lock kind of blows, but this is why we have healing. So we should be dead no matter what next turn. I just have to survive this. Oh, good. We'll survive. Healing mattered, chat. Healing actually mattered. Getting locked three times, though, is kind of brutal. But it's kind of a turn where he didn't get to do anything. Uh... Alright, let's pay towards Electromagnet. Healing mattered, because we healed almost nine so far. So that would have killed us normally, by the way, Chad. So he didn't lock us out at all, so GG. Blam, kablam. So we're probably going to lose a chainsaw, and if we don't, it doesn't really matter. Uh, hmm. Maybe I get rid of Raygun here, actually? Because I could do 9 damage a turn, or I could get a guaranteed 5 without using a dice. Maybe I actually like that. Alright, let's get something good here. Do 2 damage, add plus 2 each battle. That's super really unfortunate that we got that so late. That is really unfortunate. Uh, we'll buy Puppy Paws. Let's see what we can upgrade one of these into. Must equal five, roll two fives, two uses. Interesting. So I basically don't want to use Transformer because there's no reason to. It's not each use, and we're, we're going straight to the boss, so it literally doesn't do anything. I think Puppy Paw Plus makes more sense. So if we get bad numbers that aren't worth using, I could put them in Capacitor, and then Electromagnet will scale for our boss fight. Maybe this is okay. Eh, maybe this is okay. Sad Optimus Prime noises. Buster burning our dice is not the best, but it could be worse. So I could get guaranteed sixes here. Hey, hey, it's me. I'm a good fighter. Are you a good fighter? Let's find out. Rolled all fives. That's so awkward. That's where we say no to that, right, chat? That's big damage. So he's almost dead already. I think I just go towards... I don't think it's worth shocking. Well, he does have five dice. Uh, let's get Electromagnet up there. So he's in trouble. Chainsaw is like the time saver of the world. So we managed to keep focus, which is important. Yeah, shock would not have done anything there. I made the right choice. So we get a guaranteed another five damage on him every turn, which is important. So I have too many... I have too many odd dice. But at least I could do this. So he's at 12. Now he's at 8. I think I just burn out and he dies next turn? The odds of him doing 28 damage are pretty low. Based off of what he has. Shock there, actually huge. Okay, shock still was important even with his extra dice. Blam. Shot in the face. Well done. And can I just say, it's so nice to see you and the minions hanging out like this. Maybe one day we should have a big reunion picnic. Get you dice, get all you dice down here at once. I promise I won't try to trap you for eternity again. Yeah, can we agree, chat? That was not as hard as the robots one. Like, as soon as it gave me Chainsaw, Chainsaw was the hard carry. Can we all agree, chat? Chainsaw OP. That thing carried me so hard every single step of the way through that dungeon. 
Oh boy, now we get to play the witch. I might be able to get one attempt in with her today. We'll see. In full doom guy. I mean, it was just the dual chains chainsaw into the gunshot to the face. I'm like, yeah, I think that was a good trade. I mean, we did a lot of damage. I used most of my dice. Yeah, I, I really like the event. We got really lucky with the rule where we keep our dice because our ability to turn everything into sixes just means chainsaw does insane damage. It just has so much synergy. How's the world outside, chat? We're simply delighted to have you catch up with... Oh, excuse me. To have you back to catch up with and also viciously fight your old minion buddies. Oh, the mana system. Do one damage, reroll dice. Do three damage on six, gain two mana. Hmm. I don't think it really matters right now. Or chat getting tilted by the mana system. I'm like vaguely recalling these. Uh, we're pretty early. I don't think I really care about rerolls. I think I just care about damage. Yeah, it's more important that I wrap my damage up here. Damn, just doing straight up nine. Brutal. I don't remember what Crystal Ball does. I probably should have checked it. Too bad it doesn't matter. I see what your ability does outside of combat. Alright, we got an extra dice. Do damage on cost heal. Oh, that's kind of fun. Um. Probably don't want to put it on a four slot. See, the problem is I don't remember the spells. It's been a long time since we did it. I guess this one's fine. Well, we could upgrade it in the. Well, whatever. We'll do this. <laughs> it's getting ready to menu so hard. I'm assuming it does something. I might as well just press it and find out. I didn't get to see what it did earlier. Or can I hover it and potentially see what it does? No. Oh, well, now that I clicked it, it does. Roll three extra dice. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, I definitely want to get Blue Ocean in here. And what we could do is roll a six. Heal. I kind of like this combination of abilities. Uh, I like that I have healing early with the witch. That doesn't happen, like, crazy often. See, I don't mind the mana system. I know no matter what, she's already dead. Oh, I don't know if I would abandon the mana system entirely. It's pretty easy. Do I want to freeze? Freeze or double damage? Um... I could go very aggressive. It's a tough choice. So Snapdragon is our mana producer, so there's no reason for me to not want to do this. Um... Probably double damage early. Then, then I could put it on a three. So that way I could save my evens. Maybe that would make sense. Again, I don't remember all the spells. One of your dice is frozen at the start of every turn. Wow. Well, I mean, I guess if we have odd numbers to use in the future, that would be nice. So at this point, I get a free fruit bowl. Kind of unfortunate, to be honest, but whatever. The fact it got rid of my four there is just kind of insulting. Alright, we're, we're gonna need some rerolls, definitely. Okay, there's Blue Ocean. That's what I wanted. We're setting up for next turn. Now I have Crystal Ball. It's gonna get rid of my six, which blows. But more importantly, let's do six here. And then I can heal off of this. So I'm back to full. Well, foolish. And I re-roll. 
let's sunbeam. I'll sunbeam in a moment. Let's reroll one of the ones. Wow, seriously? Reroll one of the ones? Seriously? Is that all you could give me? Chat, that's what we like to call very unfortunate. <laughs> I rolled threes in a row. I just needed an even number. That was kind of painful. Throw my dice in annoyance. Cool. I'm glad you got the sixes I was looking for that would have ended the fight. Cool. Glad you got them. We roll the one because it doesn't really do anything. Um. Roll kind of awkwardly. Do I crystal ball? So we do we do five damage no matter what. The question is, can I kill with the rest? I don't think I can without crystal ball. So if I had another even number, I would have been pretty close. Yeah, I think I have to crystal ball this, sadly. So we're going to pay one to get another fruit bowl. I'm gonna re-roll one of the ones. Okay. That I would have preferred to not crystal ball there, but we're probably gonna die due to that. Mirror Cauldron, get a new dice on a six, get plus one this turn. Oh, that's kind of fun. Do I want that over Fruit Bowl? even get a dust oh see okay so mirror cauldron probably should have been on three i could have moved blue ocean to a different number so we're trying to remember this for next time so basically speaking if i have like a very even number focused deck i want my odd numbers to go to drawing more even spells is kind of how i do it but now i know how this works i could get rid of fruit bowl in theory It is strictly better. It's just the problem is, like, ugh, I don't really want to put it on a six. Yeah, I think I messed up slightly. Snapdragon is our guaranteed damage. Doesn't matter. I guess I could try. I, I can live on the edge a little. Live on the edge a little. I almost never get rid of Snapdragon early. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Because I have a feeling I'm not beating this enemy anyway. I might as well just try things. Uh, got a fruit bowl this, sadly. Really need to roll a better number here. Much better. Plus one dice is huge. I really want to have another mirror cauldron. I think I'm dead due to the doubles. The odds of me surviving this are extremely low. And I rolled low! Where are my high numbers? Come on, Get, please. What is this BS? Oh, I didn't roll a single odd. That is so unlucky. I mean, I gotta do this for another dice in theory. Okay, I got a blue ocean. I might be able to play the game, maybe. I could survive one attack currently if I set- Oh no, I can't because I don't have mana. Never mind, I think it's just over. Yeah, I didn't roll a single three. Yeah, I'm just quitting. There's no point to continuing. No. Yeah, we got really bad rolls there. Like, I could- So the problem with Frozen is that, like... I don't know how to get around that as the witch, to be honest with you. Like, we really need the ability to not roll a one. So I think I might have to hard re-roll if we see that in the future. Like, we could put a really good spell there in theory, but getting it, like, that early, I just feel is kind of a death sentence. Also, I forgot to replace Fruit Bowl. That really sucks. And I got punished for it. Ugh. I don't like starting with our dice re-roller. Re because this is the exact thing that happens every time. Man, not a single... Not a single... Just kill me. 
Just not a single number was usable there. Useless. Yeah. See, that's the problem with not going Snapdragon. If you forget that it's not that, you get punished really hard. Yeah, I don't care about Daffodil. We're gonna replace that. We'll try this again. Yeah, it was like they rolled sixes. I rolled literally not a single three in seven dice. That was painful, terrible. Yeah, meanwhile, this should go pretty smoothly. I'll probably take like 10 damage. Oh. You only uh, got it once. That's a much more fortunate start. Yeah, so I like keeping my damage spell early. So that being on one is actually pretty good. And it shields. Don't think I really care what this is. Nice value minus one, the star of two. Oh, this is the mana generator one. Oh, that's right. I actually do kind of like Daffodil. Um. Right now, I don't have a reason to not put this at a high number. We'll keep it like that for now. Like, I thought about three, but there's better things I could probably put there. Also, we really rolled nothing useful. It's kind of unfortunate. So we're likely to take Pan, but he can't kill us. We should be able to damage race him, even if we roll literally nothing useful. I don't remember what Daffodil does. Can I just see it real quick? Oh, dice value minus one. Our Infliction doesn't do anything with it yet. Okay, so since this fight doesn't really matter, let's do this instead. A guaranteed kill. We need, we need like a Mana Spender. So like the Blue Ocean would have been amazing, because that means we basically can heal like every other turn. Yeah, I don't care that we don't have dice rerolls. It makes the beginning of the game a bit more annoying. Um... this on a four, I think. Yeah, that's probably a good slot for it. I'm gonna try a more defensive route. Both you and your enemies do plus one damage with each attack. That's actually not good for the witch. She tends to not spam like a very heavy number of attacks. I'm more concerned about survival than I am anything else. You get a daffodil. You get a cold snap. And also get an enchanted shield if I want to. I probably want it. If I had another daffodil, I'd probably use it. Let's freeze a dice potentially in the future. Do this. Do some damage. So this fight shouldn't really matter other than Venus flytrap. Which is fine. Let's make our dice rolls a little better. Hmm. So close to killing. I'm just thinking about if I want another daffodil on my next turn. Probably? Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just play defensive. It should be over next turn, no matter what. Oh, or she'll heal six. Or three. That's actually kind of annoying. Fortunately, she didn't poison, though. Alright, so now I can freeze a dice. I mean, she should die from this. Yeah, Daffodil is kind of fun, but... We need to potentially upgrade it to be more useful. Hall of Mirrors. Um. Hall of Mirrors is really fun. I probably want this on an odd number. A number that doesn't really mean much to me. Probably a three. Good heal. Could do a Hall of Mirrors race with the enemy. 
I have everything but a five. So I think no matter what, I don't really need a reroll here. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get a death of... Uh, get another hole of mirrors. Let's get an affliction going for next turn. Daffodil at the bottom. And another hole of mirrors. So our turn, we didn't really do very much, unfortunately. We're gonna get frozen here, which blows. But I do get a crystal ball. I'll take two extra dice. So yeah, the daffodil potentially giving us odd numbers is not bad. I just don't need it right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay a three, use infliction, summon infliction again, use infliction, uh, throw dice. So he plus one dice this turn, but that doesn't, I don't really care about that. We now have five dice and two mana. We get another dice, sure. I probably want to start doing damage now. Let's get rid of this one. Did five, because I could do it with the one. So Cold Snap will eventually replace Infliction in terms of how I summon it. I get another Daffodil if I want. Actually not a bad idea. Just get the guaranteed plus two mana each turn. So he's going to freeze me, which is fine. So I think he's dead here. Yeah. Odd numbers are easy enough to play around. You know what? We almost never do. Let's tr I guess I could try the all prepared slot challenge. I guess. Then I just do Hall of Mirrors and then... What would be useful here? A couple Hall of Mirrors. Daffodil is okay. So if I get a five, it could become a four. Because sometimes I'd like to, like starting with double Daffodil means I could just freeze every turn later on. Thank you, Calvation, for the ban. Uh, let's see. It's not worth rolling Infliction explicitly. Starting with Hall of Mirrors lets me get going. I guess I could try to Cold Snap. No, I'll try Daffodil first. We, we have some time to experiment. Maybe I'll get a better ability. Get two this next turn. If five or greater, get three instead. Dice value minus one. Do two damage. Reusable. Um... I mean, that's just kind of worse Infliction. So why, why would I ever take Magic Dagger? Right, chat? Like, I I mean, I guess if I... I I guess if I just had a ton of ones, it might, in theory, equal out. I don't know. Like, if I only have two dice, I'm only going to be doing two damage, whereas I'll do three. I guess if I use... If it's already out, it does more damage. But Infliction's not going to be my main focus. Infliction's more like if I fail to get anything good. So I think I just need like another either a heal ability or a status effect on five or like a double usage. Something like an avalanche would be useful for us, I think. Well, let's get an extra dice. So here's the exact scenario I was talking about. Like, I'm going to do more with this than magic dagger. Hopefully he does just enough to get me Crystal Ball. He did. Nice. Get more dice. Let's see if it's needed. I mean, I can't really say no to another dice. So now it's like I'm Magic Balling every turn. Uh, I would like to potentially survive an attack here. He's very likely to get doubles. Roll a 4 down into a 3. I can make a 5 of 4. Let's make a 5 of 4 so I can cold snap. I don't think I need more dice at this point. We're going to go for the kill next turn, I think. Yeah, you can see how much damage. Cold snap doing 5 damage for 1 is insane. Oh, they rolled super bad. Uh oh. So my shield actually mattered there. Nice. 
So thanks to Daffodil, let me select the spell that I'm interested in. So unfair, chat. Like, look, pay, pay one, deal three. Way better than Magic Dagger. And it can freeze. Way better. Damage is so good. Oh, nice. That's not too bad. Yeah, the thing with, like, upgraded spells versus, like, prepared slots, like, if you get things that generate mana passively, like Daffodil, I might as well just get more of them. Because the way I can view it is, like, I'm not very likely to roll a 6, but if I put it as my starting set, too, because I have more prepared slots, I could kind of set up if I want to. It does mean that I do lose out on damage on the first turn, but that's kind of like a... No we'll call that a normal witch thing. Like, in theory, Northern Lights doubling the amount of things we get could be good, but I don't think it's worth a purchase at this point. Can you please not burn my sixes? Can you do something else? One of my dice is blinded. That's not the worst thing ever. It is annoying. Because I have things to fish out if it's odd or even, so I can make an educated guess from that point. That's a pretty bad roll. It's not a six. I think I will Daffodil again. So it's either a one, two, or a three. So I might as well just try it in case it's a one. Another Hall of Mirror, so it was a three. That's unfortunate. Uh, in which case... Let's get a lot of mana for next turn. Because he should be weak to freeze, so he's going to take a lot if I could just get the right number. So I already have a cold snap, which is good. Did a lot of damage already. Unfortunately, we don't have a 5-slot spell. I could make it another 4 if I want to. Probably do. Oh, that makes my decision a lot easier. Right, I'm only gonna turn this into a four. Be here, I think. Get rid of one of the daffodils since we already have a decent amount of mana saved up. Freezing his dice there is brutal. I will gladly take another plus six. An extra dice. If it's an odd number, it is. Brutal. So we still have five mana, so there's not much he can really do about this. The next turn, he's dead, I think, no matter what. Got rid of one of his sixes, that's huge. Got another six. Um. Question is, is this an odd number? It is. Then GG. And I'll take that. Probably want some healing. Let's see if we get anything fun in the shop. Get two dice next turn. I don't really care about that ability. Can we please get a little better? Repeat next action. Flower pot. Gain a new dice on four. And another mana. Um... Get a new dice on... Probably? Probably want this. So we don't have... So I could get rid of the fives that don't do anything. I could, in theory, put it on Enchanted Shields. Let's leave it on number five for now. Because I actually don't even need a high odd number, so this actually doesn't matter for the most part. Do I have enough time to set up Hall of Mirrors on this squid? I think I do. Let's play defensively on this squid. See how it goes. Because I need to conserve health until I level. Yeah, let's try this. I'd like to not spend money on a revive. We don't have to. Uh, I don't know what spell this is. Let's find out. Oh no, the flower pot. In another dice? Sure. Let's re-roll this. 
Another two. Uh. We'll play defensively at first. On the plus side, we now have a ton of mana, so we need this to do something interesting. Let's get rid of one of... Well, let's check to see if it's a shield. That's at least a four. So with that, we know... We could get rid of a daffodil pretty safely here. It is a cold snap. That was a good call. Frozen. Check the value. Reroll value. Okay, so it's one to three. Then I'm going to enchant a shield. Oh, it's three or less. Oh, so it's like a five. Say. Um. Could try to lower the value. See if I could get a dice from this. Oh, I think it was a six. Because if I still can't use this, that means it was a six. Uh, throw the dice then. Oh, I'm glad that freeze went off, chat. You have no idea. Yeah, Freeze shutting down Baby Squid pretty hard. So with Daffodil, we're actually gaining quite a lot of mana to kind of lock him out. Uh, probably reroll. We got some shields. It's not a four or less. Oh, I think I got a mana back from that. Like, put another Cold Snap in and kill him, I think? This should be Cold Snap. All of, oh, sorry, it was... I'm sorry, it was... Whatever, that's fine. My bad. <laughs> Forgot it would re-roll once it's done. That, that's, still fine. that's fine either way. Right, so he's gonna do damage to me for the first time in a while, but it doesn't really matter. The baby suffer, something like that. Just need an odd number here. That's good. Um, Probably shield. Other dice. So it should be G oh, that is painful. Okay. You can blind me, but I'm plus the dice. It's over. Can already see the route to his own demise. That was such a good fight, Chad, he says, as he gets murdered. Damn, Freeze is so good. Doppel dice. Daffodil. I don't really want to change anything, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace Daffodil with Daffodil. Gotcha game. Check me. You can't force me to lose a spell if it's the same one. Enchanted shield being lost kind of blows because I have a feeling at some point we might have to get rid of it. We could, in theory, get better. Uh, So we know we could get a four right now. And I think I want to do that. Get cold snap online. We know it's a two, four, or a six. I think no matter what, I want the spell. Interesting. Well, at least we'll be very tanky if we need it. Right, chat? Like, okay. There's another six. I mean, I'm definitely gonna pay f pay to freeze. That's huge here. Uh... We found a shield. Get rid of flower pot to reroll this. Oh, we need the less. So we don't know what that is. We don't know what either of those are. Well, let's find out. I was gonna say, I think this is jokes on you. I'm just gonna do some damage here. No, it's at least a four. I'm gonna throw the dice, actually. I have an okay amount of defense here. So he's not gonna get through my shield. Oh wait, plus one damage. Yeah, he will. I lied. That does make shield slightly less useful. Um, just do damage. All uh, right. I mean, I'm kind of okay with this. I, I don't need to see my dice to win, chat. I'm just gonna fumble in the dark. It'll be fine. Like, what dice am I using? Whichever one wins. Goodbye. Yeah, Cold Snap is definitely our main attack spell, no doubt. Uh, I guess it's okay buying a heal. I don't have that much purpose for money. 
Enemies can throw unused dice at me. That's fine. It is a little scary with them being able to... Oh, that's a lot of apples. It is a little scary with them getting plus one damage on the dice throw, which does kind of suck. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this to set up on them. I think I just want my turns to go quicker here. So it was a six. I could turn a five into a four. I think I'm okay with. <laughs> I could get another six out of this. I probably want to use the one here. The freezing of dice is good, because he, he might only poison for one, depending on what he does. I probably want another dice here. Probably want a cold snap, and then if this is... I was gonna say not a nod, I'll fix it up. Also, interestingly, because cold snap doesn't burn any mana, I just get freeze for free with cold snaps. So this is just kind of brutal. I think chat can agree, like that... I mean, it's unfortunate he's still doubled with that. Honestly, I don't think he should have been able to. But the fact that it doesn't burn any mana means that we're just doing insane damage. So I could pretty much just lock him out of the game right now if I roll well. I don't know what the mystery dice is. I wish I had a four, which we could do. Then I have two even dice. <sighs> don't want a crystal ball, but I think I have to. So... Let me think. If I do six... Oh, no, 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 wait. No, no, this this should kill due to how damage works, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. Plus one attack. I gotta remember that that will influence the dice throw damage. We're good. Let's heal up and probably heal again. So you can see, like, once we have mana, Cold Snap just kind of deletes the enemy. Like, honestly, we could even just go double Daffodil at the start just to get a guaranteed freeze. I guess we could try that. We're gonna get rid of our fours to make them fives. We've frozen two of his dice. I no longer need Daffodil. I can just get rid of it. Just cut Daffodil again, that sucks. Uh, then I will... Guess Hall of Mirrors. So as I said before, we don't have any big spenders. Oh, that was brutal. So the more cold snaps we can get, the harder we shut down this enemy. So if I had more prepared, this would actually be a very good build for prepared slots, because if I get the guaranteed cold snap, I don't think there's anything the enemy can do to stop me at that point. I could freeze him twice. See if it's a six. It's not a six. Sure, we'll replace Daffodil with something random. Another Daffodil, whatever. So again, they're doing very low damage to us. Doesn't really matter here. There's a six. I mostly just need dice rerollers. Just very annoying that they keep locking Daffodil. <sighs> Actually, okay, I'm gonna plus the dice here. Since we're just getting hard trolled over and over. Alright, the odds of me being hit enough for crystal snap or crystal ball to go off are pretty good. Yeah, there we go. So with that in mind, I have enough cold snaps to end this, assuming the game is not really, really cruel to me. Uh, and let's do some damage. Turquoise. Okay, we just need to survive one more battle, which we should be able to heal, right? Oh, oh, it's Rotten Apple. Rotten Apple doesn't matter at all. Place two copies of the next spell you cast. No, I don't think I care in this build. Honestly, I kind of like our build. It's, it's a little awkward with Enchanted Shield. It's probably the only thing... This is the only thing that burns our abilities. But again, if we start double Daffodil, we could just get, like, six shield on threes. Like... 
Potentially, this is really strong with our build. So, let's see if we could get it to give us something interesting here. And we got a cold snap, which is what I'm looking for. Freeze out a dice. Let's see if it's 1 to 3 or not. Alright, so it could be anywhere between 3, 4, and 5. So I think no matter what, I want to summon this. Good call, good call. Yeah, double daffodil also resetting so we could get odd numbers potentially is kind of big. We're definitely going to freeze. I don't really need another two. So this is where, like, double daffodil's a little weak. If I roll low, but don't roll strong enough, it could be a bit awkward. So I'm going to throw a dice here. Alright, so he's going to reduce my ha health by half, but this doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter yet. It's a more accurate statement. So we're going to do a million damage to him. I think I just hopefully get a better spell here. And his shield's okay. Which ironically makes me immune to him. Oh, he does three every time he does it. Oh. So actually the shield there is kind of, kind of crucial. So I can just kill him potentially if we roll decently. So he shouldn't be able to kill me if I enchanted shield. I think I'll start with that. None of these are odd, seriously? Wow, that's kind of unlucky. Alright, he can't kill me. He reduced me to two, that's fine. I should not be able to die here. Unless we are getting in insanely unlucky. What is happening? Can you please give me a useful dice, please? I would like to survive. We now have six shield. There we go. Ridiculous. I can't believe we almost lost with six shield a turn. That was kind of silly. You no, know watch out. We're going all the way. Let's get another prepared slot. There is a challenge for getting nothing but prepared slots. So infliction is okay. I think we ideally want double daffodil into cold snap. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was, uh, seriously? I could turn almost anything into an odd number, and it was like, no. Thou, sh thou shall not win. Enemies will dodge your first attack every turn! No. All enemies get a rock? That sucks. But them dodging every turn, I think, is just literally a no-win. No-win scenario. I don't hit enough for that to do anything important. Let's roll extra dice. Let's get a cold snap in here, I think. We're gonna go ahead and use a three here. And I'm gonna five one of the flowers. Oh, it needs a four or less. Uh, that might be fine. And I could get extra mana, which is funny. Uh, probably just want another cold snap, ideally. I guess I should see what this is. So it's a 2, 4, or a 6. Probably want to get rid of one of my daffodils with whatever this spell is. Another cold snap. Okay. So I could turn this into a lot of damage on him. So he's going to lock me out of dice. The flip side is... Yeah, like, what is he gonna do? Use a rock on me? I don't care about that. You get another dice if I want to. I probably want to reroll. Wow, that was unfortunate. That is what we like to call very unfortunate, champ. I have rerolls, but they let me down. <laughs> I can lock him out of one of his attacks completely. Let's just throw my dice. I mean, so far he's not doing any real damage to me, so this is fine. I would like to get a mirror to get out of the scenario that we're in currently. I mean, I could just freeze him every turn, too. I got rid of a six, that's actually huge. 
Oh, come on. He rolled a one on that. Didn't roll a two. Rude. Ugh. Reroll. You've got to be kidding me. Come on. We'll get there eventually, chat. Okay, good. So he can't damage me again. We're just having, like, the world's slowest fight right now. Due to me not having mirrors. It's kind of annoying. He's at least he's dead here. Jerk. Fine. So we're making progress. Probably need to heal. Do I haul of mirrors? I don't want to freeze the other guy. So snowman looking like a terrible matchup for us, by the way. Um, do I would have to beat him with inflictions. That's kind of painful, terrible. So I think we just try to skip him, to be honest with you. I don't see a world unless that shopping cart has something that does damage that is not ice. I don't see a world in which I could do it. I would replace flower pot with a damage spell. If it's like a fire spell, then we're good. If it's an earth spell, it's also fine. If there's no damage spells, I don't know how we're... I, I don't think we could kill him, sadly. That is just what is known as the hardest counter. Because if he freezes us, like, yes, it would... We would get into a damage war with him, but it would feel really terrible. Also, my spells got really messed up. Let me do Hall of Mirrors here. See if I like this more or less than our other choices. Okay. I mean, I got rewarded immediately, so that feels good. Might as well see what the mystery spell is. Enchanted Shield? Uh, I probably want that. How badly do I want it is the question. I think I'm gonna pay six to reroll into a five to get a flower pot. Which feels weird, but our ones are not useful. It's not. That's probably the only number I didn't want to roll, <laughs> to be honest with you. I think that was legitimately the only number I did not want to roll. That is really, really unfortunate. Can you please stop rolling super high? Thank you. I guess it did it. I was hoping for a two, a three, or a four. That's fine. So we kind of just didn't do anything because we got bad reroll luck. We're about to take a lot of damage here. Um, I gotta throw it, sadly. So we didn't get a single four or a situation in which I could turn something into a four. We really need a four. All right, this should work. I could re-roll the one into something potentially useful. I did not roll into something useful. I feel like the game is actively trolling me. Turn this into another four. If it's odd, I'm just gonna attack with it rather than shield. I think freezing him out is... Did he seriously roll all once? I mean, that's fine, I guess, but... Not the turn I wanted him to do that. Uh, Roll this into a five. Shield, definitely. I just throw the dice. I, or I, uh, let's roll extra dice. Uh, could haul of mirrors on the shield to get another dice next turn. Get rid of that, do some damage. Okay, he's almost in kill range. I'm glad I got rid of that six. That would have been super annoying. So he should be dead here unless I rolled ultra terrible. There we go. Halfway through, we really need a damage spell. We did get one. Hmm. Ooh. Winter Solstice 
is very interesting. Moonlight Spear is risky. I think what we do, we heal for sure. And I think I get rid of Flower Pot for this. So two odds is fine, potentially. Because I could turn sixes into fives, so I'm not as worried about that. So with an extra prepared spell, it's like, ugh, what do I do? Oh, I, I, I forget, it does that. I'm gonna try to do this. Do I need it on the first one is the question. So this is one where, like, it will eventually just defeat the boss. Because if we start with Quadruple Daffodil, for example, or Double Daffodil, Hall of Mirrors, Winter Solstice, it means that by turn 5, it would probably just instantly kill. But the question is, can I hold out that long? But if nothing else, it is just kind of free damage that's typeless. So risky. Right, since I know the next enemy doesn't really matter, let's make sure we double Daffodil into Cold Snap. So basically, we need to get rid of Daffodil once we get it, and then in theory, we get enough dice, it should work. Should probably Hall of Mirrors. Yeah, let's Hall of Mirrors. Not a single one there hurts my soul, Chad, unless it's a six. No. So I don't know what we have in our hand. Let's find out. Oh, it's a five. Oh, and then I can't take it back when I check it. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's me that's all sorts of messed up. I'm not going to lie, chat. That's actually messed up. Wow. Well, I found out what it was. Unlucky. It could have literally been anything else, chat, and we would have been fine. I think it's over. I don't see how I can win this fight. We got really unlucky, and I have no damage spells. I think it's over. Yeah, it's over. Man, all it took was one bad roll, and, like, we lose. That feels so shitty. I could have thrown dice, but I think I've given up. Yeah, it's just over. I'm quitting. Oh, so annoying! I forgot that she had double... Fr I didn't think she had freeze. Uh, I have to remember that for next time. I would have gone a very different route had I realized she had freeze. So I got hard punished by not knowing she had freeze. Because I, I the only way I can counter that is I need to not start with Daffodil. I have to start with my cold snaps and draw into Daffodil. But I didn't know that going into the battle. So I feel like I just got knowledge checked, which is kind of BS, but whatever. Nothing I could do about that, other than I have to just memorize it for next time. Oh well. Yeah, I knew she had Curse. That I remembered, and I'm like, I Curse doesn't really matter. I thought she just did uh, Blind... I thought she did Blind and Curse, not Freeze and everything else, too. So yeah. Oh well. I do have to go, though. So we're gonna pause here for now. So what did we learn? Uh, it really sucks to fight Freeze as the witch. <laughs> it's it's one of the most brutal counters to her, honestly, unless you build around only odd dice. Uh, we did have Cold Snap, which would work against Freeze. But again, like I think the challenge of the witch is not her mechanics. It's more like if you don't get the right spell and you get a certain enemy, the run is kind of over. So because we didn't choose the right spell, we weren't weak by any stretch of the imagination, but we were not the right build, so we just lose. So it was kind of a lose-lose, to be honest with you, because think about that entire run. We never came across Burn. We never came across Shock. We never came across Weaken. So though, like any of those would have been fine, and we drew like literally none of them. We didn't get apocalypse. We didn't get like the the fire staff equivalency. We didn't get avalanche. So the fact that our only double spell was typeless was not super great. I don't know if like the starting items influence what you get because it's possible based off the starting items they try to reroll it, but I don't know.
Yeah, it's just one of those things where, like, now I know that the advanced Banshee does that because we just don't fight her enough for me to remember it. Yeah. I think otherwise we would have been fine for the boss. Like, we could have easily spiraled out of control with Hall of Mirrors. And I guess I could have replaced Infliction if we had better options on the way down. But, like, honestly, think about it. We got almost, like, no good weapon attacks the whole way down. Like, we had, we took Flower Pot as a placeholder, and we legit did not really get another attack option. So that is also kind of outside of our control, which really blows. Like, could you imagine, chat, how free that would have been if we just had, like, the, the lifesteal gain? I would have been like, okay, you know, you do 8, I heal 4. Right? We could have life gained it out with that enemy and been fine. But it's like, yeah, we just didn't get any neutral attacks or anything interesting. So, well, we'll try again. But chat, I do gotta go for now. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll probably play a little bit of this tomorrow.